thousands of brides and brides to be are making an uproar on social media. Yeah, they say a well known local wedding photographer isn't holding up her end of the deal. In one case, she's accused of bailing on at least one couple a couple of weeks before their wedding. Local 12's Courtney Wheaton is looking into these allegations tonight. Brandy Grant and her fiance Chris Purden have two weeks until what should be the happiest day of their lives. It's taken us a long time, eight years, actually, to get to the point where we could be on a tight budget for a wedding that we could afford. Grant was elated when she found her wedding photographer Tiffany Cottle on Facebook. She signed a contract and paid her retainer fee, $500 in July and $675 in August. But then communication slowed. When it came to anything else, getting her to communicate with me was far and few. A friend then tagged her in a social media post from Cottle a couple of days ago, saying she was canceling her 2022-2023 weddings. Like, I know so many brides now, they coming into these groups that I'm in now, like they, she canceled on them the day of their wedding and the day before. Grant shared this folder full of documents with similar stories from brides around the tri-state and beyond. Cottle hired Cassie Reverman as a I second mean, shooter. I, I started helping her and she was real, real great about paying me on time. And then, you know, we kind of started going by and I wasn't getting paid. Reverman says Cottle paid her back three months later. Cottle called the station last night and left her number. I tried to talk to her today. She sent me a message stating her attorney advised her not to talk. Tiffany did put out this lengthy message on Facebook straight to brides telling them about some of her struggles, including mental health, lack of help, and lack of equipment. Now, she did say she would refund them and get some of those pictures back, but she had no timeline on when that would happen. And for some brides, that's just not enough. I have an attorney and I'm willing to do whatever it takes. The problem is, is that she files bankruptcy. What are we gonna do? I feel bad for Tiffany, I do. I feel bad for her mental health. But when you know you've taken on so much and you know that you can't handle what you, you've done and you know you cannot follow through with your commitment, you don't keep taking people's money from them that they've worked so hard for. Courtney Wheaton, Local 12 News. Now, Tiffany did offer to put Brandy on a payment plan, but it would take her about four years to end up paying her back completely. Luckily, Brandy did find a photographer willing to help there at the last minute, and Courtney plans to follow up on this story and possible lawsuits that could come out of this. As for Tiffany, her friends say she isn't the person she is being portrayed to be.